Well, welcome fans to uh, an exciting night of football here at Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School. Um, big game tonight, a lot of energy. Brockton brought uh, half their city here tonight with a marching band and the players. Great high school, Friday night high school football atmosphere here tonight, Pete. That's for sure, and uh, this is Pete Aber, and I'm joined by... Oh, John Fletcher. And we're glad to be bringing you this third contest of the year for the LS Warriors. They're facing a Brockton boxer team that comes in at 0-2, Fletch, but this is a just a strong team, period. They have a, a D1 uh, in, uh, in Montero, a number one also, uh, a D1 commit. Uh, a, a, gonna be a tough battle here for LS uh, today. And so we have the captains out at midfield. Yeah, just said that, you, you, you guys out there, you wanna keep an eye on Montero, he's number one. He's uh, going to Pittsburgh um, on a scholarship. He'll line up the wide receiver, but he'll also you know, line up under center quarterback every now and then. Very athletic team, very up and coming team. Um, so it should be a con good contest tonight. And we'll be, uh, the LS uh, Warriors will be kicking off to the boxers here to begin the game. Uh, we just had the captains out there. Number one, Jay Cardi. Number two, P.A. there. Number six, Luke Oler. Number nine, Cooper Tuantino. And number 11, Darius. Uh, Braithwaite. So we're about to get going here. The team's assembling, and coach, we're right in the the midst of the Brockton <laughs> boxer uh, fandom here, uh, right next to the the band. So yeah, I, I got I got to say it's an impressive array here. They they probably have about twenty plus cheerleaders. They and I, I am not exaggerating when I say the marching band is probably about one hundred and fifty strong. Yeah, they, um, they travel well. And if for, for a lot of you watching, and obviously if you're listening to us, you're watching this on TV, uh, you might recognize the new Brockton head coach as uh, Jermaine Wiggins. Uh, I've heard of Wiggy, him. Wiggy, yeah. So uh, some, of you, some of you old timers might remember him from 2001. He was the hero of that tuck game um, and actually set up the game winning field goal in, in the Super Bowl uh, for Ben and Terry. So, um, Little, it's hard to root against Wiggy, but we're definitely going to be rooting against him this evening. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Marcus Castle will be kicking off number 36 for the Warriors. We'll get right into naming the, the defense once we get going. Now we have the special teams out there in force. Ryan. Oh, there we go. There's, There's the kickoff. Kick it's fielded. Oh, fumble up. They, trouble handling that trouble one. Handling the ball. And he gets it, and he's a nice play. We stop him about, what, the 12-yard line there, Pete? Nice play to get that far. That looked, that looked uh, a little bit rough, but he recovered. But uh, a good a good cover by LS. He did not squeeze through there. So starting at about the, as you said, maybe maybe just to the 10 by looks right, at yeah. the marker. So let's set up the defense real quick. Jake Claverone uh, in the middle uh, at uh, defensive tackle. We got Henry Lowry, number 56 at uh, the right side, uh, right tackle. Peter Abair, number two left tackle. Looks like we'll have uh, Luke Oler, uh, inside linebacker. Logan Umbach, number 12. Cal Pendergast, uh, 57. And we'll get back to the we'll get back Here we to are the lineup. first play from scrimmage. And their star player, Morrow, is under center to start the game and out of shotgun. The handoff up the middle. And there's a pretty good about, game there. Looks like six. About, about six or seven yard gain out to about the... 16-yard line. And they're in the hurry up already, Coach. Yeah. It's like Coach Wiggy is trying to play an up-tempo game here early on. Again, out of the shotgun. Montero, number one. Again, the heavily, very well-regarded number one com uh, D1 commit. So he's getting the play in from the sideline. We'll see what happens here. There's a snap. Another Get another handoff. handoff up the middle to the same. He gets it across the 20 for the first down. We're about the 23 yard line. We'll continue with the defensive setup. Even though they're still in the hurry up, we have Charlie Barringer, uh, number 19, is a, is a corner. And the other corner, Drew Laguerre, number 30. Jake Hardy, number one, strong safety. And Blake Wessel is the free safety, number four. 
Yeah, they're not, this hurry up offense hasn't really given us an opportunity to set things up, Pete. And we're gonna have to be quicker on our toes here at our first full, real full game, hopefully. No lightning delays like we <laughs> no had that first tonight, game Coach. against Methuen. Yeah, we'll have to do a little bit of a recap of the first two games as we go through. Number one keeps the ball in a little quarterback draw. Not much there. Well, gets about for about three or four yards. Yeah, a lot, a lot of similarities coming off these two teams the last week. Um, Sudbury, you know, down 14 nothing late in the fourth against Needham last week. Really fought back late. Um, scored late, 14 to 13. They went for two in the win with about 12 seconds to go. Big um, move. And I will say, having talked to a lot of the players, they were completely supportive of that move. They wanted to go for that win almost unanimously, if not. Uh, they wanted to end it right there, and it just came up short. Here we are to the shotgun again. Another, again, another quarterback keeper. And a little bit better gain that time out to the 20, 30, or yeah, what, the 31-yard line? Yep. Or it'll be third and about two. So definitely staying with this, this up-tempo so that it's not exactly, uh, they, yeah, as you said, calling in from the sidelines. So a bit of a pause once they get to the line, but uh, not a it's lot of break for the LS Warriors. It's be a nice here. stop here if we could hold them and get it's the ball back. Play. Again, they're out of the shotgun. Number one takes the snap. He Sweeping. rolls out. He sweeps. Oh, and whoa! Him. Oh, the oh, ball's loose! The ball's down! That's a, that's a boxer I, I, recovery. I'm trying not to get too excited, <laughs> Pete, but it's hard for me. But. Well, for a moment, uh, we saw daylight. <laughs> yeah. Coach, we could have if, sprung you right through there. If we had, uh, if we had picked that ball up, that would have been a scoop and score. <laughs> but it's fourth and about seven or eight, so they're going to punt. You gonna know, back to that two-point conversion, right? It's, likewise, I talk to a lot of people, and I get, you know, the traditional rule of thumb is that you, um, you want to go, go for the tie at home for the win, win on the road. So we had all the momentum. Indeed. So back here's, here's we have uh, we have Behringer, and they are going to let that let that roll. It's going to settle at about 41. the forty-one yard line where LS will take over. Pete, you want to set up the offense? We for us will there? give it a whirl here. Let's go uh, at center. Emmett Dolan, number sixty, a junior. Uh, to his right, Kevin Abair, a sophomore, number sixty-three. At uh, right guard, Henry Lowry at right tackle, 56. Over on the left hand side, we got Jake Leverone, 55, and Ethan Gordon in at the left tackle position. Uh, we'll have Cooper Tarantino under center, and here we go. Looks like there was some movement, but no flags. No flag, and well, a that's strong Oler. run by Luke Oler. That's Luke Oler with about a five yard gain. That's it's probably, it bears, bears mentioning here a couple key injuries tonight. One of them is um, our, our running back. That's right, Darius not uh, you know, injured uh, in the first game of the season. We didn't have him in game two against uh, against Needham. Uh, he was uh, he was missed, but we've got Luke Oler with a yeah. very nice run yeah, up nice the middle, and we didn't see a lot of that in the Needham game. Not a lot of run between we, the We tackles. didn't see a lot of offense in the first three quarters. It is Oler again. Oh nice Look game. That. That's Terrific a first, game. That's another six yard game, coach. That's the first down. We're moving the chains. It's a good sign for LS early, considering their inability in much of the game against Needham, certainly until the second half, to really do anything on the ground. So, a very strong start. Uh, we'll set up a little bit with the receivers. We'll be seeing Jake Hardy, number one out there, Logan Umbach, number 12, Eric Siegel, number 20, Charlie Berenger. Uh, 19, we got Hardy uh, going out to the right-hand side at this point. And here we have another, another carry run. with Oler right up the middle wow. for about a 12-yard, 11, 12-yard gain. Oler's really taking it to him tonight. That offensive line early on doing a nice job against that big rock in front four. This is a different-looking offense right now than we saw in the Needham game. I think Needham was very strong, especially their linebacker core. They were bringing extra pressure on every play. There wasn't a lot of room in the middle, but LS is finding that room here against Brockton early. Line up, we got doubles out to the right. Again, a handoff up the older, right? Up the wow. middle of the older. Another, another five, good, healthy five, six yard gain. Uh, credit 
to that offensive line yeah. here early, Coach. They are nothing, nothing handling a, a big defensive front for Brockton. And a, here's an offensive line with two juniors and a sophomore on it. They look like they're doing a pretty nice job. Early. Absolutely. Nothing fancy here. It's just been hand off to over right up the middle. It's right, right up through the Brockton string. So it's, it's an impressive start so far for the Warrior offense. Blake Wessel in the game out right. And, not, and, they're, and they're going and at it again. Going at it again. Run, run, run. That was good for about a, another couple. And that's going to set up about a third and three here, Fletch. Well, if we keep doing that, that should weaken up those corners, soften up those corners some for uh, Tarantino to maybe hit one of these wide receivers. For, for, for a little, little end zone magic here early on, would be a great way to start this game after last week's slow start. Indeed. So we're coming up to the line here. Tarantino in the shotgun. Hardy out to the right. Over is out. Then uh, Raylon Mascaro is in. He gets the ball. And he goes right up oh the middle. Gosh. Great run. Nice. Great run. A lot of speed. A burst of speed. That was about a 15, about a about a 15 yard gain there. Indeed. And a terrific run by Ryan Maserko. Uh, there and we saw Ryan a little bit in the Needham game and uh, so a nice element here early. Well, well Coach Gerard obviously saw something on film that he feels like he can exploit the middle because it's been every play has been right up between the tackles. Nothing fancy, no misdirection, no no trickery, just mono -y mono handoff up the middle. That's right. Now we have Jensen Martin in the backfield. Let's see if he gets a turn at it. And it's a Cooper keeper. with a Tar Tarantino and a lot of with room. the keeper, a lot of room on the corner. He tries to get the edge. He's run out of about the four-yard line. There was a lot of room there. He did a nice job getting out there and some deception up front there because that that was a wide open way. So we got first and goal with the one coach. Sorry, Pete. I keep calling him coach. Yeah, I think we might keep it on the on the <laughs> ground here, Fletch. What do you think? I I, I think so. Why um why mess with anything now, it's, right? I mean, I, I'm wondering if they'll run Cooper Tarantino right up the middle here on the quarterback keeper, mm -hmm. right behind the center. Yeah, He's lined like up behind center Oler. tight. And there it goes, just as we yeah, called big it. Big push. Right. Looking for the oh, signal, they're they in. in. There it is. All right, nice play. I got to tell you, I was very impressed with that drive. They're a lot of great athletes on LS, but that Brockton team is big, and they got a big front four. But we did nothing fancy there. That was just up. All but one play was just right up the middle. I'm with you, Fletch. That was a nice drive from start to finish. Uh, and now we'll have uh, Castle in for the, the extra point. A very strong place kicker. And, and it's good. For it seven it is lead. good. You know, that, and that does go back to the argument last week, right, about you got one of the best kickers in the state who had just kicked a 45-yard field goal against Methuen. You know, you take the tie, take your chances in every time. But again, I, how can you second-guess Coach Gerard with the success he's had? I, he had all the momentum, and um, like you mentioned, talking to the players, you have a play, couple players on the team. Yep. Everybody seemed to be in full support of that decision. So. It, it, there was a lot of support. I think the, the sense was we're a bit beat up at this point in this game, and we just put pressure on this Needham team. Let's let's try to finish it right here. And they came very close. It was it was a it was a two yards away from a potential victory in terms of connecting on that pass. Just want to note on that on that extra point. Uh, holder is uh, Blake Wessel, uh, and Logan Umbach is the long snapper. So uh, hopefully we'll see more point point after uh, plays with that uh, combination as the game goes on. Wessel's, in, uh, I'm sorry, Castle's in there for the kickoff. Kick kickoff, another deep kickoff. Nice off. boot. Number 23 for Brockton's back to receive. He takes the ball about the five yard line. Finds a little seam up the middle. Um, and he stood up at the 25, and that's where he'll go down. You know, drawing, drawing some more parallels between these two teams, um, Brockton, their first week, it really, really took a beating at the hands of Barnstable, 49 to 14. But they came back last week against perennial power Franklin. Yep. And uh, they were down 21 13. They fourth and three with about a minute to go, and they got stopped, and they lost 21 to 13. So 
they're, they're, they seem like they're starting to put things together, which really made that first opening drive by Ellis all the more impressive. I and, think. and think of it, you know, it is a new coaching staff here, and, and so... Uh, well, I, 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 I like this coach. I got, we got Penn State versus Pittsburgh here with um, Jake Hardy <laughs> is out on the um, edge covering number one Indeed. for Brockton. So we got Hardy, a Penn State commit for baseball, and Montero, the talented wide receiver from Brockton going to Pittsburgh. It's the Battle of Pennsylvania here, Coach, on the... Uh, a little bit, <laughs> and there's a, there's a give up the middle there gain for about two and a half, well, look, looks like three yards now with the sticks. We have uh, again Drew Laguerre in corner coverage on the right-hand side at the moment. Hardy, strong safety. Here we go. The Jensen Martin in there at middle linebacker. Quarterback's under center. He's going to take the snap. And another handoff up the middle, and um, not much there. Not much there at all. That 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 front four of the Warriors is really holding the ground here at the at the, at the point of contact. And that was uh, Laverone and Abear on the on the left side. Abear, that's a familiar name there. I've heard it before. A <laughs> it's it's an So we mentioned a, a sophomore, two juniors playing on the offensive side this defense is a very much a senior unit with a lot of experience good quarterbacks out of the shotgun now number eight is going to take the snap looks like he's looking for his star receiver and you see the talent there he's a big kid with a long reach and he reaches up and snags that ball for about a right about at the mark it's going to be close yeah, i think they're moving him up so yep. that was uh and behind, behind center now, we have Jaden Campbell uh, for Brockton. So we're going to see a couple folks back there, it looks like. Yeah, you can Fletch. see in the replay there that number one for Brockton. He's a, he's a tall kid, a big reach, and he just reached up and took that ball. It's, it makes it a little bit convenient for your quarterback when you can just throw it up and you can out-jump everyone, out-reach everyone. Indeed, Campbell back under center, handoff hand right. Handoff up the middle, and again, he stopped right at the line. Nothing there. Looks like early on, if Brockton's going to do anything, they might have to think about either trying to get out to the edges or try to exploit that passing game a little bit because it doesn't look like it's going to work up the middle. Fletch getting in the in the mind of Coach Wiggins. <laughs> we'll it, see. It's I mean, going to be hard, you know. The, the, the Wiggy, I, I was doing <laughs> some. I'll, I'll carry out that thought. So now number one, Montero's back under yeah, back under center. Oh, actually, he's out of the shotgun. They go on trips left, Brockton. It's second and ten. And over on that. Uh, Here we go to snap to Montero. And he keeps the ball. He rolls out. And he gets a little bit of the edge nice for. Run. He stopped at about an eight-yard eight gain. But Siegel, Siegel so, got low on him, held him up for the secondary to come up. and. He, he is a big athletic-looking kid. And we got a, about a third and two here. This again would be a nice hold for LS, given the field position. It's been a quick first quarter. We're down to one minute to go. We've gone farther in this game than we did in, <laughs> yeah. in the Methuen first game of the year. By the Could way, Methuen, Methuen bounced back with a very impressive 27-24 win over Marshfield. They're, they're um, a team to it, be. It's a very good yeah. team. I mean, LS came out of that with a, I think they, some new, newfound respect in the state after that game against Methuen. Indeed. Uh, number Montero keeps it right up the middle. Looks, Looks like, like he's he got that yardage. A big scrum. We got a rugby scrum at the uh, about the 48-yard line, so that's another and first down. Move those sticks. That might be the last. Might be the last play of the first quarter. We got about 34 seconds left. We'll see if they try to get one more play in. 30 seconds. My guess is they're just going to run the clock out here. And I think that's what they're signaling here, that they're just going to let the clock run out here in the first quarter. And uh, they're at the 49, so they won't have to move too far. They just have to flip sides here. Indeed. We got uh, Abdul Kareem in there at the, that nose, uh, nose position now. I think we'll probably see a rotation between uh, Kareem and Jake. Jake, of course, in the position of playing two ways on the line, not an easy assignment. So we're gonna, should see Kareem quite often in the game. 
But that's the end of the first quarter. We'll take a little break and catch you on the other side. It's seven nothing Warriors after one quarter of play at Myers Field in LS. All right, Pete, we're back after the change of quarters there. Again, it's first and 10 from the 49-yard line. Number one, Matero, keep, quarterback keeper again. And he's stuffed. He, he may have lost a yard. They, they're probably going to give him forward. They give him about a half a yard gain. So it's about second and nine, second and long nine. Coach, can you hear me, Pete? Looks like Pete is having some technical difficulties. Pete, can you hear me? So it looks like I might be going solo. I'm not 100% sure. Pete's having some, my counterpart is having some issues with his microphone. So we're back under center now. Number one is lined up wide. Oh, another handoff up the middle and he's stuffed at the line. He's stuffed at the line by number 51. That's, uh, that's, Ab oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, you're back that's, on, yeah. I am back. That is Abdul Kareem with that, uh, that play. That's, uh, that was a big stuff there. Right at, getting right at the line of scrimmage, so it's third and nine. This would be a big stop here. We could stop them here. Although you've got to think that they might be in a position where if they don't pick up the first down, they might go for it just to try to get some momentum. Hey, coach, thanks for covering for me there. Yeah. That's it's much appreciated. Why we're a team? <laughs> Why we're a team, Pete? So here we go. We right, got here we go. Big, uh, big the third down here. Number eight's back under out of the shotgun for Brockton. Be a big hold here. Pete. We would we love to love to stop him here and get this ball back. Um, looking. He's looking downfield for his big receiver. Oh, and Hardy and stopped him. There you go. Wrapped him up. He's gonna be. He's gonna be about four yards short. About three yards short. I would short. say he, they, it looks like they're. Looks like they're getting a good mark. We're, Whoa, they, uh, they're moving the sticks. Wow. Uh, well, you got to keep, keep in mind, sports Here's fans. Here's the that, replay, uh, the catch it. I guess he was just, a, I guess he was there. That was a tough one so, from this angle to see. But they're, they convert, and we have a first down for so, Brockton. So, sports fan, it's fair, to, it's fair for you guys to know that uh, Pete and I are on a, the visitor sideline at about <laughs> eye level. So, we really can't see a lot of the field. So... Give us, give us a little break when we make some of these calls. A hand Another handoff. They changed that up a little bit, but with the same result in that running game, he was actually, they're going to give him forward momentum about a yard and a half, call it two-yard gain. So we have Luke, a second and eight. Luke Turco for the, for the Brockton boxers on that carry. And it looks like Brockton just called a timeout, Pete. They want to make sure they get a good have a little bit of momentum here. They want to probably try to capitalize on that and get a score in here. Well, Fletch, I'll, I'll reflect a little bit back on last year's matchup. It was September 23rd of last year when Lincoln Sudbury traveled to Brockton. It was a night that started off like this temperature rise, maybe high 50s. And by the end of the game, it was about 38 degrees with a brisk wind. Uh, LS started off very slowly in that game. Brockton absolutely dominated the first half. And Lincoln Sudbury, I was up in the stands with a, with a dad, and we are just saying, let's just get a good drive in. Well, next thing you know, LS came all the way back, tied the game, went ahead. Wow. Uh, Brockton scores late uh, in, the, in the fourth. 
uh, to tie it up and force an overtime and it, it and and wound up winning in overtime but that game last year against Brockton was despite the loss was a big confidence booster for that team and they went off to re going from 0 and 3 start to a 7 and 4 finish oh, wow. and, and it started with that Brockton game in in, in my mind so let's see uh, we got again. Let's set the stage for you. We have second and second and eight from the 38-yard line. Um, number eight for Brockton is out of the shotgun again. They had the big receiver Montero spread far right. Um, looks and like they're changing the play at the line. Yeah, that'll be uh, Blake Wessel lined up against uh, number one for the boxers. There's a snap, it's a handoff right back up the middle. Oh. This time they found some room and 21. Gonna see. There it is. That time it worked for them a little bit. They, the end zone. they looked yep. like it was gonna be a pass play, but they they got a little bit of motion. They ran 21. Number 21 for Brockton yep. is well, that uh, was Luke, Luke Turco. Luke Turco, yep. Turco, who we think we've called his name a few times tonight. So yeah, that was uh, there were some key blocks for the boxers on the right side on that, and once he once he got about three three yards beyond scrimmage, it was daylight, and uh, LS secondary couldn't quite catch up. So here we have the conversion we, we, attempt. We knew this wasn't going to be an easy game, and sure enough, we have the. Brockton has an opportunity here to tie it up at seven. The snap is back and in there's his block. A block. There's a block. It and was it was blocked by. That looked like uh, Kieran Fagan on the on the block, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, I'm gonna take that back. Is that Luke Over? Number I could I couldn't really. No, catch I think him. that was Cal uh, Cal Pendergast. Sorry about that on the call. Number 57 got in there and, and got that. Uh, that, that's that's big in a game like this that we anticipate to be a close back and forth game. A block extra PAT could be big. He came right up the middle there, so like he was unblocked, made a nice a nice block of that extra point. Yeah, Cal, uh, Cal Pendergast led the team in tackles last year. He's definitely a defensive force for the Warriors. A big play there at, a, at an important uh, time in this game. So keep it 7 6, 9 16 left in the first half. And so we have Charlie Berenger back for. LS along with Drew Laguerre. Yes, it'd be nice for us. Look, look to put together a nice drive here would be good. Eat some time off that clock. Matriculate the ball down the field. Maybe try to put up another point late. Um, they got a big kicker here, Pete. Number, six, two and number 67. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, I don't have a name here for him, but he's a. Uh, he looks like an offensive lineman. Nice kick off there. Taking and that's it Berenger. The, Berenger takes it at about the 15. He looks for a little bit of space. He's got, he found some room. That's a nice run. Up to about the 31, 32 yard line. Where There's LS a lot of traffic he negotiated through there. So he's ready for any Boston rush hour. <laughs> so we have first and 10 from, we'll call it the 30, 31 yard line, first and 10. Cooper Tarantino brings in the play. Let's see if that, that line play of Gordon, Dolan, Bear, Lowry, if they can all keep up the incredible blocking they did on that first drive. Really, really opened up a lot of holes for the running backs there. You got Siegel and Berenger split right, left. And then Oler. Oler right side there, and oh, there's going to be a penalty. face mask, I'm thinking. Yep, it looked like, uh, it looked like a face mask, but. Two it, flags, that's. It looks like Ola tried to bounce that to the outside a little bit, but it's hard to do that when someone's grabbing your face mask. <laughs> but we'll see what the second flag is. Yep. Yep. It looks oh, like we both. got it right. Yep. Not, not, not bad considering we're about a hundred, <laughs> about three hundred <laughs> yards away from the action at about eye level. So that'll be that'll be a first down for the Warriors. Move them up to the. We're marking see, it off here. Forty. Five yard line? Yep. They'll be at about the 46 yard line where we'll be. 
Some good That's huge. field position with 8.59 left here in the half. Yeah, it makes it an easy call when the helmet goes down first to that degree, and there were two flags, so a couple, couple refs saw that play there. So again, we got Hardy split right. out to yep. the far right. We got uh, doubles on the right. Berenger on the right. And it's a handoff hand right up the middle again. And that's, oh. that's Nacerical, not much there on that one. That was Raheem Nascaro. Am I saying his name correctly, Pete? Ryan, Ryan Nacerico. Ryan Nacerico. That was, picked it up, Little. about a one-yard gain. We'll have it second and nine at the 46. Coach, one advantage of having two players also <laughs> in your home is to bounce some of these names <laughs> off and get the right pronunciation. That's why I'm relying heavily on, on you, Pete, to do that. <laughs> So we're out of the shotgun. Cooper Tarantino out of his familiar shotgun. Ball comes back. Little right. keeper up the middle. We got another flag down after about a five-yard gain. We'll see what that is. It could that be a might holding. Be a hold on us. Yeah, we'll see. Could be a holding on the Warriors. It looks like they're walking back already. Yep. Yep, they're pointing our way. That's you know, so after about a five-yard gain. It looks like we're going to be coming back. The head linesman makes the call. Oh. The chop block yeah. they're calling. See well, that, don't see that a lot, but obviously they're going to take that penalty and move it. Yeah, that, uh, I will say it was a big hole. And yeah. uh, so that that's going to be sprung either with a one great block or just on the fringes. And that, that I don't know what like they're what debating here. I mean, obviously they're going to take this take this penalty unless Coach Wiggy is trying to do something free. Well, there we go. You know, I wonder if we'll see our first pass of the game that we're going to have second oh, and. That's a, that's a 15 yarder coach. Yeah, we're going to have about second and, oh, they keep walking. Second and 25 here. That's a tough one. Standing in the heart of the uh, Brockton crowd here. So we're, it seems like good guys are around us though. So. Indeed. But we got second and 24 from the 32. We might see our first pass here from Coop. There he we rolled, go. rolls right. He's looking for a receiver downfield. He's got a receiver open. He oh, catches it. Nice catch. catch for the first down. But Pete. I couldn't quite read it. Might be. Oh, it's going to be about a half yard short, maybe. That was an incredible pass and catch. And that was Berenger on the catch. Nice 23 yard pass down to the 45 yard line. We have third and one. And here we see it on the replay a strong throw. Berenger and, up and, and over two defenders. Yes, he was double Terrific covered play. there. That was a very confident throw by Cooper Tarantino to Berenger. I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here if we'll just. We have older line up do, left. Yeah, I I, I, when Cooper's under center, they typically just have him keep it. And there it is. There and it he's is right and he's up the middle for yeah. at least a three yard game. All right, whistle there. Blow the whistle. Yeah. This is when. Yeah. Tempers start to flare when they hold on to that whistle. Yeah, that long, indeed. So that's a that's a good first down. To keep that a was. I tell you what, P, you might want to mark that in your book there. That was a big play there on second and twenty four to complete that pass into double coverage. Yep. Circle that one in the in the score book. We might uh, refer back to that later. That's an important one to keep the drive going. Six thirty three left. First and ten. On the 42 for LS, we have Behringer and Siegel on the left-hand side. Handoff up the middle. Oh, it's right up Cerco, the middle. Big hole and yeah. a nice run. Wow, running. Ryan Cerco's having a right nice side. little game here. That's about a nine-yard gain. Yep. Yeah, about an eight-yard gain. Nothing beats an eight-yarder on first down. It, it opens up the playbook. Right now you, you can possibly even take a – Take a shot into the end zone here if you want. Feeling pretty confident that you could pick up that two yards on a. Um, you have two plays really to get that two yards if you don't make the. If you t if you take if you take a chance here in the end zone and it doesn't succeed, Tarantino is out of the shotgun. And we have Ryan in the back backfield again. And to give to go for the the first down. going. Oh. Not quite as successful, but he gets. Uh, he gets a three-yard gain. That's all you need. Yep, tough yards. That's going to be another Keeps first the ball down. Moving. You know, back when our boys played, again. boys played youth football, we used to always joke about uh, matriculate the ball down the field. If you get three, <laughs> three and a half yards a game, eat up the clock, you move it all the way down and score. It's a great way to play football. And 
Indeed. So we have Siegel so out, Bear coming in at receiver. Lines up typically in a tight end uh, formation, indeed, on the left-hand side. Oler back in the backfield. Gives to Oler. Oler right up the middle again. Yeah, this time for about a five-yard gain. That offensive line, I, we got to make sure we keep giving those guys shout-outs. They're doing a great job up the middle of opening up holes for those backs and protecting Cooper when he's dropping back the pass. We got uh, Emma Dolan at, at center. Junior, Kevin Aber on the right side, guard 63, Henry Lowry 56 on the right side. They're doing well on that side. Jake uh, Leverone 55 on the left side along with Ethan Gordon uh, 53. And it looks like Oler again in the backfield. Coach, we have number four lot. Another handoff right up the middle of the loop. No, nothing fancy about what they're doing here tonight. Nothing fancy, yeah. And uh, yeah, that was Blake Wessel uh, lined up out left on that one. So we're, you know, we're getting a good rotation of players in and out of the lineup here for uh, for LS. So Ethan Gordon just came out. Who did they send? In I think for? they. I think that's uh, Kieran Fagan, who was injured, uh, who is injured in week one, sat out week two, and uh, it's nice to see him in there. Again, nothing fancy. Handoff right up the middle. Luke Oler for another two or three yard gain. Got to be frustrating for this Brockton defense. That, again, nothing too fancy here. This is smash mouth football, and the, and the Warriors are winning the line of scrimmage early on. 345 in the first half. First and 10 at the 21. I got to say, having done it, this, you know, we only made it to about the three minute mark of our first game. Uh, <laughs> being, being behind the mic on TV, these games fly by, P. They sure do. They sure do. And this one, especially with so many runs, it's, it's been a run dominated game so far. We got Blake Whistle far right. And again, a handoff right up the middle. Nothing. Oler, well, this time, Oler. Maybe a, maybe a tough yard there. They, they tried to go a little bit more off tackle there. They, 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 they went wide left a little bit. Um, and Brockton was able to, to read that and stop him. Well, he still gained about two yards. So the a lot, lot of action right up between the, between the tackles, right up the middle there. That, yep. that center of that line is doing an incredible job. Agreed, and we have Ryan the circle coming in. We'll, we'll be in the backfield on this play for LS. Let's so again, see if they keep it on the ground. Tarantino's out of the shotgun. I can see a little draw. Nope, a little toss Pitch. sweep to number 10. Logan that's right out front with a Oh, that's a tackle. Oh, what a beautiful play. <laughs> you know, that's what you do. You, you, you soften that middle, soften the middle, soften the middle, then you do a little, not even a toss sweep, that's a little... Uh, you know, a little toss to the right, and um, is yeah. that Ryan again? That Indeed, that's Ryan Lacerico in He's there. Having a game. Having and a game. Uh, you know, nice, uh, nice downfield blocking. We saw Umbach out there. Logan Umbach, number 12, leading the charge. And so let's see this uh, conversion. This would be another. Uh, this would be a nice conversion here, making it a 14-6. Oh, that's they're a little off sides. We're going to get a shot, but we'll decline that and take the points. We'll take the points. What did we say at the beginning of that drive? We need to put together a nice little drive. We put, just put together a seven minute drive. We, you know, the, other than that 23 yard pass completion on second and 24, everything else was, you know, three, four, five yards at a shot uh, right at the end. I, I guess they called that a dead, yep. ball, dead well. ball. They're gonna play it, shoot, kick it again. But yeah, for the most part, it was nothing fancy. Again, between the tackles, three, four, five yards at a shot, other than the 23 yard gain, and then that run right there of about 17 yards. So now we'll kick it again, hopefully we make it here. We line up, the snap is back, it's up, down, and he is he is about as automatic as you can be in the yep, state. Yep, it's, uh, it's a nice combination. Logan Umbach to Blake Wessel to Marcus Castle for the extra point, extra point, so. 233 left in the first half. A fast moving game, a lot of runs on both sides. Uh, both teams, and we see. Uh, yeah, that was a night on second and nine from the 17. A little, like I said, a little toss sweep to the right. Some good blocking out there on the edge by the. Was that Behringer out on the on the on the right there? I saw Umbach. Uh, Charlie probably was lined up. So I mean, I definitely saw some. There we go. There's Umbach number 12, and the rest was his. It was Ryan all yeah, the way. Speed. Nice, 
Nice job. A uh, lot, lot of good athletes on this. Lincoln there Super sure Warrior are, team. and we see them on special teams. We got Ollie Reinhardt out there on special teams, number eight. Uh, so we have number number 18, Owen Green on special teams. We got number 14, uh, Vincent Polcari, who I coached a year in hockey. Oh, there you Good go. to see him out on the gridiron. Another nice kick. Uh, we Brockton player takes it at the, about the 10. Oh, and Good he's, stick there he's met hard about the 22-yard line. And we want to hope that our defense holds here. We love to go into this halftime at 14 to 6. But again, Brockton has a very explosive offense. Um, a lot of it centers around number one, Montero. But number 21, I uh, forgot his name already. Uh, Turco. He, Turco. It seems like the two of them are really, um, really carry the load for this Brockton boxers team. We have not seen a lot of passing. Uh, when we do see passing, it, it definitely seems to be uh, number eight, uh, yeah. Campbell, uh, doing it. And so we have eight back there now. So I think they're going to try to get in the air here, they probably, actually, Fletch. They actually took Montero out. So I don't, it seems like number eight might be the better passer, not knowing he is looking to pass. High pass, there he goes. What about Quick, a two yard gain. We'll, quickly covered good. by Cal Pendergast. One trend in the game, it does seem like, is that when Montero was under taking the snaps at center, it looks like most of the time it's a little quarterback draw. Um, yep. It's anything to get the ball in his hands, but now he's lined up wide right. Number 19 for LS is covering mm -hmm. him. That's uh, Charlie Berenger, and we... Uh, Glad I have you, Pete, to get all these names. I don't know the players like I used to. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's a pass that number four wishes he had back. I, number four, Jaden Wooden for Brockton. Seems like he should have caught that. We got Louis Stefan out there at outside linebacker in this series, and uh, he was on coverage that time uh, on the left-hand side. So we got 39 at the 24 with about a minute 49. Might want to think about if we stop him here. Incomplete pass obviously stops the clock, but we stop him here, Brockton's gonna have a decision. My guess would be that they would punt the ball. We might have a chance, one more offensive chance to put some more points on the board here. Indeed, if you're on the LS side of the football, you are you want the play in front of you. Keep the play on, in front of you here at third and nine with 149 left. Don't let these big receivers get behind you. And they are some big receivers. Yeah, Brockton's a big team. They got some big guys out here. So again, there's the pass. Looks like in the middle. No, the, down the sideline. Uh, There's nothing there. Nothing there. An incomplete pass. Fourth and nine with a minute and 44. Well, here we go. I can't imagine they're going to go for it. We're going to get the ball back. Yep. It should be a good field position with a minute 44, and I believe all of our timeouts left. Indeed. Pete, we got a chance here to um, maybe put some more points. This is when it's great to have a strong leg kicker like Castle. We get close. So again, we saw him in that Methuen game kick a 45 yarder. Yeah, uh, a big leg, definitely. I mean, if you get down in there around the 30-yard line, 30, 25, 35-yard uh, 30 line, you're going to be in business. Here's the snap back. Punt is up. Might win again. Oh, oh it hit hits LS player. It hit. Uh, oh, I, I, it looks like Brockton may have. What a tough break. Wow. Did we well, get that back? I saw, I saw it. It looked like it got back to us. Wow. You know what? I wow. think it, that's where you. That's where you want to yell. I you know, think it hit r the helmet of Eric Siegel, and I think Eric Siegel got the recovery. So yeah, uh, the, one of the one of the things you learn early on on, on the pump play is if the ball's near you, you have a you have a code word that you yell out. It's basically get away from the football. Yeah, yeah. But that was a tough one. The ball hit him in the back of the helmet. We got the ball back right at the 50-yard line, where it's first and ten with a minute 35, and Brockton just used their second timeout. So we had. Uh, that could have been a big break, Coach. That's that a big break. You know, you, it, it, it's one of those things at the, at the high school level, you see it at the college level even, where you know, you, your fingers are crossed in some of these special teams plays. You just, it, it is, uh, you have skilled players out there, absolutely, but that, that punt was coming up short. It was in, inside where our, our receivers were, and uh, we had some people midfield getting ready to block on the play, and so boom, and you get. You, and, and you get Pete, I'm going to do the one thing that my sons begged me not to do, <laughs> okay. and I'm going to use a horrible pun here. 
It was great that Siegel used his head <laughs> to get on that ball. He's a heady player. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about it. All right, so now again we have first and 10 from and the we 50. we got Oler in the backfield here. We got Twins. Twins right here is the pass. Ooh. Quick one out to Siegel. Dangerous pass. Oh, and Siegel gets it in space. Oh, ah. That closed up quick. Hopefully we'll call a timeout here. It did indeed. Yep, LS called a timeout. That looked like it had something when it first. No, they did not call a timeout. Nope, they're doing like, the hurry up like here. It looked like they had the potential for a big play uh, there. We got Behringer, Bear here on the left-hand side. Jay Cardi on the right-hand side. He's looking left. Oh, uh, what a Umbach. nice, nice play right on the sideline, right at the 40-yard line. Nice timing yep. on that one. Nice Our play, and he gets out of bounds to preserve the clock, preserve the timeouts. We got a minute five to go. Good throw and catch there, all around, and yeah, we're at the 40. 40 yard line. Get in with there. A minute to go. Minute Cooper five to go. Runs back out with the next play. We think I th they'll probably keep it in the air here, right? I mean, they do have all the timeouts, so they they don't have to. They still have time to run the ball, but it looks like they're going to stick to the air. Cooper rolls right. He's looking for his receiver. No one's open. Can't take a sack here. He keeps the ball. Nice he the football. I don't like, know. We'll I see. Think, I think Brockton may have gotten that one back this time. They are signaling to that effect. And judging by, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Cooper tried to do a lot there. He, um, he tucked that ball, ran with it. Um, got hit from behind pretty hard. The ball popped loose. Looks like Brockton's going to take over at the 36 yes. yard line with about 52 seconds to go. One of those runs, you're making something happen. You're scrambling. It's a design pass. You have the ball and you get some room. He, he made a couple nice moves, saw a little daylight, and then uh, the, the hit was, was unexpected. The ball comes loose and uh, the boxers have, the, they got have a it back. 52 seconds. So uh, number eight. You uh, gotta put it in the air. They don't have timeouts, I don't believe, at Jay, this point. Jaden Campbell's back on their center. They're lining up Montero wide right. Out of the shotgun. I'd, I'd give him some extra attention on that side. Yeah, I, and the, they're looking at him all the way. A little pressure, and he has to take a knee. He slides down. So I I think they're at yeah, they're three. At the way, so. they're, at, they're out of timeouts. That was a... Uh, uh, really no gain there. He slid down. He was about to get hit for a loss. But 30 seconds to go. They're going to have to go deep here, Pete. Yep. They fall back. Get that, a lot of rush. pressure, a lot of pressure. Goes underneath. That's. We don't want him to get open there. Was nice play. Out of bounds by Blake Wessel there. So, so that was Campbell to Montero for about a five yard gain. So we got 20 seconds left, third and five from the 40 yard line. So that's what you have to do. You have to um, give the underneath stuff up to some extent, guard against the long play, and Ellis did it on that one. So we have a third down play. You know, that's that's the risk when you're playing against a D1 prospect though, that you, you want to give them the underneath stuff, but a player like that can really break things loose. So that's for make sure. sure you keep an eye. Number 21, too. Is he back out there at the Turco? I haven't seen him since Not that long touchdown run. I think he's been now the sort of the featured back. So, uh, and now LS calls timeout. They Wise won. move there. Let's. Uh, I wonder if Coach Gerard would wanted to see how they were lining up and what they were looking at. I, I feel pretty confident they're going to be throwing the ball down deep here. Um, no timeouts. Like you said, it's third and six from the 40 with 20 seconds. This, there, would be, this is a big hole. I'd love to go into halftime at 14 to six. If there, There's been good pressure by the defensive line on the quarterback in this series. They uh, one time had to get away, get it away pretty quickly. So we'll see whether they stick with a three or four man rush and but uh, maybe load the secondary a little bit more here. You know, it's sometimes it, it, it you know it's easy to play defense when you can pin your ears back and just come in. You know they you know they have to pass the ball here. I think it's too risky to try to run if you try to run the ball here you could easily run this clock out. That's absolutely true. So LS So my guess is they got time to take a couple couple plays here. Number eight Again, Campbell is out of the shotgun. And I think we do see one extra, so we have uh, we got Ollie Reinhardt out there. 
We got trips. We got trips left. Coverage. I, trips left. I could see them running Montero on a little slant across the middle here. He's playing in tight where there's a lot of traffic. If he can get through there with his height, and sure enough, he's right down the. Nothing there. Yeah, nice that was throw. Quick, quick play. Only cut uh, five seconds off the clock. Third and third, fourth and six. Fourth I'm and sorry. Six so 40. here we go. I mean, I. It's a big you play. Gotta, you got to boot it. Do you? Do you? Do you, do you uh, I, I, Do you run I, an offensive play here? If with you, if you run an offensive play, you give the Warriors, you give the Warriors an opportunity to take one more, one more stab into the end zone. Looks like they are lining, well, they're lining up for a punt. We'll see. But if watch you know, if Montero, the punter as well, because he is in the yeah. punting position. So let's keep an eye on him. And he is punting, which is probably the right call. And get away from that football. Yeah, you get away from that. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had a disaster there. The warrior, that's gonna, the warrior right. player almost fell on the ball there by accident. That's going to take it down to three seconds, so we will have yeah, a just, kneel on, on, on this play, undoubtedly. Yeah, I, I don't think you risk anything here. You don't want to risk a turnover, an injury. Looks like we're probably going to go in the hat. We're going to have to snap the ball at least one time. Get in the... Uh, but it looks like they're... Um, yeah, they got some... They they have to snap it. Although Rockton looks like they're they're ready to go into the go in for halftime. Again, I can't imagine. Well, they just both sides agreed to just call okay, it. There we go. Well, as we go into the halftime, coach, just a a few words before we break. Uh, a strong first half for LS. Uh, I, I, I think on you know all three phases of the game, our kicking game was strong. The extra points, the kickoffs, the uh, yeah. I I think every every we pretty much. Other than that one long run by number 21, Turco, I yep. think that we dominated all three areas, all three aspects of the game. So hopefully we'll keep that up in the second half and we'll um, try to get out of here with a victory. So That's right. So a strong first half. So we have the LS cheerleaders taking center stage at midfield. Uh, both teams walking off uh, and the fans heading to the concessions. I, I wonder if we're going to get a chance to hear this Brockton band uh, really liven things up. But One, one quick note before we break, uh, the Brockton band, by the way, is terrific. Um, and uh, even though they're right next to us, they, they're, they're, they're terrific to hear. So uh, one thing uh, to note to those watching at home, uh, tomorrow at LS, we have the ski and sports sale uh, at uh, at uh, the LS uh, cafeteria. So that runs in the, I believe it's 9 to 12, but check your, uh, check the uh, LS Boosters website and you'll be able to see that. It's a great annual event, great place great, to get great skis. Great annual event. This, this place will be mobbed tomorrow. People looking to get Hockey good skates yeah. and tennis rackets and baseball gloves, you name it you'll see it and so just wanted to put in a, a plug for that great annual event if you're you're watching at home uh, and need some sports gear tomorrow is your day no doubt about it uh, tomorrow morning here at LS we'll take a break here Fletch and and come back uh, with our audience in the second half excellent see you guys in a few bye Well, back for a second half here at LS Field. We had an entertaining first half, a very strong performance by LS. Really not a lot of mistakes. Uh, and going into this second half up 14-6. And coach, we had uh, some nice halftime activities. We, we, we had the pleasure of sitting next to a very uh, a terrific band here from, from Brockton. Yeah. I, I I have, I have a, if I had a microphone, I'd give it to my buddy here next to me, Angel. He's from Brockton. He, uh, he made the trip up here. He, both of his children are in the, in the, in the marching band, and uh, they, they seem outstanding. I was really hoping we'd get a chance to see him perform, but, you know, it's, it's great, to, great to be standing here with a gentleman whose kids are out there, and um, he tells me the band's really good, and I, and I believe him just from what I hear. Oh, they, but They were terrific, and, and we had... Uh, a nice, a nice bit of camaraderie between both sides of the field at halftime between the LS student section and the Brockton student section. Uh, we had the Brockton, the Brockton band cheering the Sudbury youth football players out there. We had some 
maybe what would you say seven eight year olds out there playing yeah it, um, yeah, first, playing. yeah we had about first grade probably <laughs> they uh, had two games going on side by side and a lot of offense and very little defense but it was definitely exciting and the student the student body from ls really got into it like you said the the Brockton band really did a great job yeah, of cheering them on. Really nice to see, really nice yeah. to see. And so here we are about to start. Just a quick note on, on one of our uh, alum here from LS, Nolan O'Brien, uh, who is such a standout for LS uh, at uh, Trinity College uh, this past week at uh, three catches for Trinity as they beat Tufts. And so it's good to good to hear from alum, alumni doing great things uh, in their continued yeah. football careers. And I guess he missed the first game with an injury, so he uh, it was good to see him take it to the Jumbos there for three catches. I'm sure he's going to have a lot more over his, over his career. So we will have a kickoff here from, from the Brockton Boxers. I see I think it's uh, Ryan Nacerdo and there's the kickoff and, it, and Behringer back there. Nacerdo's got it. He brings up it right up the gut. Five. Takes the ball, tries to get the edge, tries to get the corner. Not quite able to get the corner, but he's taken down about the 27 yard line where we'll have first and 10. It's about a we, 20 yard return. We were talking about at the break, the uh, the Warriors almost pulled off the old the old school Patriots, score right before the half and get the ball back in the second half. Um, well, hopefully again, we'll put together a nice long drive here, drive this ball down and put in a score. And, Hopefully we'll be on our way to a big victory, but a lot of football left, a lot of football. That's for sure. And uh, again, good to see Kieran Fagan out there running to take up his left tackle position uh, after a one game absence due to injury. And so here Cooper back uh, in the shotgun under center. It's a handoff right up the middle to Oler, and he picks up right where he left off. Yep. Uh, Another strong run. That's another 11 yard gain right up the middle. Doesn't seem like the Brockton defensive front four has a lot of. And here we have a yeah. hurry up here by LS. There we go, the, the chain gang uh, led by Coach Gallagher, Mark Gallagher needs to hustle up. <laughs> another handoff right up the middle to Oler. This time only for about a four yard gain. But again, that the offense really isn't, they're not doing a whole lot. It doesn't seem like they need to do a lot. They're. Uh, they keep pounding the middle and up between, again, that very strong offensive line. They're, it's th th This far, the offensive line is, is the star of the game, I think, for the Warriors. It is such a difference, uh, the, the, the confidence in the running game behind that line right now is very high. And we will, we will see if this uh, holds up the rest of the game. It's second to seven from the 41. And Cooper out of his familiar place in the shotgun. Handoff up the middle to Oler again nice. and again. About a three or four yard gain. We're probably going to be about third and three. Third and three, almost at midfield. Sticking with the ground game. Third and three from about the 46 yard line. It says third and seven, but oh, there we go. It's third and two from the seven yard line. I'm going to go run here again. I Watch. would too. I, and I tell you what, to me, it's almost two down territory. I don't, you know, what, the, way, the way we've been controlling things. Looks like Pete. Pete has a fan. Pete has a fan club here. The people are taking his picture. <laughs> be I doing think that was uh, that was a picture of you, Coach. There and it goes. A nice run by, o by Oler, Luke Oler. Oler. Oler lowered his head and just dove right up the middle there for about a four-yard gain. First down at the 49-yard line. Again, uh, nice run by Oler, finding finding the hole. Uh, and knowing where that first down marker is, and again, you know, line looking looking terrific for LS. And okay. so we have a two back. No, no, I'm sorry, I take oh. that back. One one back in the backfield looks like Oler still. Still Oler back there, and it's oh, little Keeper. fake handoff to little fake handoff to Oler. Cooper kept it. For maybe a yard. Maybe a yard, but it looks like they're going to spot him. Spot him at the 45. Oh, they're at the 50. They're going to give him a one-yard gain, so we're going to have second and nine for about the 50-yard line. So 9.30 left here in the third. LS received the kickoff and has... Again, we're trying to matriculate the ball down the field. That's right, Hank Stram. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, Hardy... And Berenger to the right, Siegel to the left as the receivers. Oh, and we have a timeout. 
And we have a timeout. Now let's time out. I wonder if Coach Gerard saw something he didn't like or a mismatch that he was. So we had Nacerdo in the backfield and we had Logan sort of as a, uh, Logan Umbach as a, a second back there and a timeout by LS. That, that is an interesting timeout. I, I, I'm, I'm curious of what Coach saw there. Obviously he, he saw something he didn't like or he wanted to, or something that he did like and he maybe wanted to yep. change up the play there. Indeed, and but Coach you know, this, Wiggins on the other side, similar huddle going on for them. This, this is a big possession. If we're able to drive this ball down, like we say, take some time off this clock. We're right, right at the 50 yard line with about nine minutes and eight seconds to go. The, the pass has been there when needed, but what is it's been a 90 percent run well, I game think he's what two for maybe us. two for two for three for three I don't have yep. my again it's our first full game so I don't keep in stats yet but we I don't uh, have our stat <laughs> team here with us on the Brockton a little stands. tall sweep to Nacerdo oh, oh. <laughs> he was a big tackle but not before he gained about five on that play so we're gonna have third and about four yeah he had a, it looked like he had a lot of momentum there and he got his legs taken out from underneath him he did a little flip but we have third and third and about four yep. on the 45 yard line. Cooper brings the play in. This is an uh, important play here to keep this drive going. I almost think at this point, right, this is this, this is two down territory, right? I mean, you, I would say so. I mean, you're at the 45. Given the way the defense has played, you can have some confidence should you lose the ball. So I, I'm, I'm with you there, Fletch. And Hand off, off right up the middle of the Oler. Maybe a tough yard yeah. or maybe two. That oh, makes the decision a, a little bit more challenging, but there's no indication that the punt team coming out yeah, as Cooper Tarantino went to the sideline to get the play. So we got fourth and fourth and four, fourth and three from about the 44. It's a big play in the game right here. Well, Pete. when you've been running, you're on the, you're, when you've been running as effectively as they have been, um, the Brockton defense on a fourth and four, they can't assume a pass here. So you got to protect well, that, against everything. So it's. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Do they just stick with what's been working all night and just hand it to Older right up the middle? Or do we see a little, little play action maybe? Unlock in motion. Yep, a it's little, a fake. Like you called it. Right. And it's two. Well, that's going to be a close spot. Looks like forward momentum is just about there. That looked like it was. Number two, a bear on the on the on the catch. Uh, Pete, took boy, it it's close. Took a little bit of time for you to uh, to uh, register. That was your son. Well, well he and he <laughs> and uh, Jay Cardi have the same red shirts on uh, <laughs> so it was a tough. Here's the Let's here's see, the play. To nice. A bear. Did we, let's see. Where did he have to get to? He had to get to the 39. That's going to be. It's close. It's going to be real close. I think close. they might be short, Pete. They're going to ask for a measurement here. You know, it, it that was a play looking at the receivers, saw a lot out there. So uh, uh, Aber definitely open, makes a nice uh, nice throw and catch on that. Here's I think we saw Siegel in the middle of the field. It's a big uh, measurement as well. here. So it's, that's, that is that's close. That's going to be Ford, short. Boy. He's got Rockton thinks Boy, it's short. Oh, but it's a first down for the Warriors. That it wasn't by a lot. I tell you that the the Brockton boxers really seemed confident that that ball was going over to them. They they Ooh. don't love the spot <laughs> on the Brockton sidelines. Uh, that's you know that's when you you look at you, you you look at these sticks and and it's nice to go over and see the the play and and uh, know where you are. But at the end of the day. There's an important role. <laughs> yeah, that was real huge. That 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 took took us down to 7:27, and the game gave us an important first down. We hold on to the ball here. We can take another three, four minutes off the clock. The a little on toss the handoff. Sweep. Oh, and looks like we might have a block no. downfield. Yep. That could be coming back. Let's see what the play is here. It looks like there is a downfield block, maybe. Yeah, it looks like they're going to walk it off in this direction. It's going to be a spot foul. So after about a nine, about an eight-yard gain, it's going to come back. I like that play, Fletch. They had uh, that, that they was were heavy play. on the right. 
toss and there was there was room. That was the exact play we scored on that second touchdown, That's I believe, right? right? Yep. The little, it's almost like a little handoff toss. It's not a full toss sweep. I didn't see, I we're gonna get a replay here or not to see what happened, but they're definitely bringing that back. So the referee's walking that off without the foot toss. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah. there are two flags. Um, and they're bringing it back to the line of scrimmage, so it's not a spot foul. It's got to be a block downfield or a hold. That's a 10. 10 yard penalty. Looks like it's probably penalty. a holding downfield, maybe. We don't have a signal officially from the referee, but we know they have walked off we, the yardage against good. LS, so we're going to have a long first down here. Well, uh, but now they're going back the other way. Okay. I'm not really sure what he did there. Okay. He, he walks it one way. Now he's walking oh, it back the so other way. So we just got All a off, call. Was it offsetting? Hit that. I, I'm not really I sure. I saw the signal against Brockton. Holding. Holding against the offense, but he. Offsetting. Offsetting penalty. Right. Well, we, so we couldn't quite figure that out. We only saw one of the. But if it's offsetting, they would bring it back to the line of scrimmage. I'm confused. It looks like the officials are confused here too. They're, they're coming together for another conference but if it's all setting that would be a dead ball foul we replay first down from the original line of scrimmage that's why fourth. we're glad we have you up here in the booth <laughs> Fletch you uh, you know the intricacies of yeah we, we, Wiggy wants an explanation here and I think a lot of people do I'm not really sure well at any rate it's first and five first and five although the this is a good pass situation yeah. potentially might want to take a shot here but instead, we just hand the ball right up to That's why we're up here. It looks like Brockton may have made some adjustments at halftime. I mean, how could they not? I mean, again, there was nothing nothing too fancy or elaborate about that offense in the first half. So Brockton may have made some adjustments here. And I'm sure Gerard might have something up his sleeve to, to counter that if they continue to plug up that run game up the middle. But it's still second and third. Second, Second and three and from the three. Good, yep. good situation, good good end of the field. And looks like Oler in the backfield. Siegel in motion. Ooh. Give us to Oler for. Yeah, they're, Brockton is now bringing those in. Maybe one. They're, they're crashing their corners on the end, but they're, it looks like to me, it looks like we have an injury, an injured Brockton player. It you looks like a, to me that their uh, Brockton has, you know, they're, they're, they're crashing their ends to help bring extra bodies into that center, which also means that they're letting up the edges. So I wonder if Coach Gerard sees that. Maybe he'll get a little action going on the outside corners here. That's Montero limping off. Their yeah. star player. Well, you, you don't want to see that, certainly. Yeah. Uh, but it's third, it's third and two here. Third but again, and two. There's, but the, you know, a lot of you guys know that the tight ends, the outside linebackers, especially the tight ends, you usually want to contain the corners. And from what I can see, they are crashing the corners to help fill up that middle. That means the outside edge is going to be open for us. So, so we do have a we do have a tight end set here, two wide right. Umbach in motion horizontally, and, and it's a keeper, it's keeper and he's going to get handle. that first. First down, just hold on yep. to the ball. You know, Cooper Cooper has a lot of effort. You know, it's some, sometimes you want to see him maybe go down after he keeps trying to fight for every yard and. Paid off there for the first down. Fletch, that's well said. That is uh, Cooper Tarantino. He's always looking for that extra yard uh, on every play. He is a he is a tough tackle <laughs> yeah. for for anybody out there. And he brings a play back out now. First and ten. We have five thirty-seven and counting down here at LS. My Up fourteen to six here. Yeah, this in is the third. Nice drive so far. You know, just doing just enough to keep the ball moving, keep the clock moving. And off to Macerdo again, Macero that right again. side. That's it. And this is a nice, about a 12 yard gain there. A nice gain indeed. Uh, you know, he has a quick step out there to the right side. We've he, seen him on that play three times in this game, each for a gain. Uh, significant gain each time, so. Yeah, it's almost like thunder and lightning. O Oler brings the thunder Don't up the middle. Don't say lightning. Flashbacks to that first game against <laughs> Methuen when, when our debut was cut short. There we 
we go. It's uh, first and 10 at about the 15. Masato remains in there, Ryan next to Cooper in the backfield. Got Hardy out left. Give again to Nacerdo, this time to and the he left finds side. it on the left side. Kick up of a few. Again, it's hard to tell from our ground level vantage point. For those you, of you just joining us, LS has possessed the ball this entire half, and we're down to 444. Second and five the, from the 11. In the third. This, this has been an impressive drive. An impressive all, again, they, you keep going back to that Needham game where we didn't do a whole lot until about six minutes to go in the game, but this game, we've pretty much controlled thus far. The score only indicates 14 to six, but Got it's Martin been a there in the backfield, along with Oler, and the give is to Oler behind Martin, and that's going to be really close to another first down. It's very close, about a yard. About a third and one from about the. Get that, where we at there? That was a uh, looks. Uh, let's. That's a, are we on the Not looks like the six, six yard, yard line. line. Yep. They're saying the eight on the scoreboard, but. So that was two uh, two in the backfield, and it looks like the similar setup here. We got Martin in the backfield this time. Uh, there is Oler. Oler. And it's a handoff to Oler. It looks like he may have been stopped there for a loss. It's the same play as the last one to the different side, and they are going to. It's going to be interesting. It's fourth and. First down. It's the first down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, we, it's, it's as we've here. mentioned, Fletch, we are, especially going in this direction, we're a, we're a long way from the line of scrimmage. But uh, uh, we do have first and goal from the eight. Well, that's what the scoreboard says. That's what it, yep. first, first and goal from the seven. And like you mentioned, we're down to just about the three minute mark already. Yep. And uh, the, the, what their LS is doing at this point, they have Martin back there leading the, the way, playing kind of the fullback role with Oler following for these, these tough two, three yard they, runs, they, but done that they for, are advancing. They've done that three times in a row. I wonder if Gerard is setting up something. You know, a lot, a lot of times you'll, 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 show a, you'll show a look and do something a few times to set something up. And maybe, maybe we'll have, you know, again, the, one of those corner sweeps that have been working pretty well tonight. Number 13. That's uh, Jensen Martin. Jensen Martin's in the backfield with Tarantino. And it's a pass. Oh, a little high. A little high to hard. high behind Jake, who looked like he had a step on that play, taking the shot at the end zone. So we've got third and goal from the six now with 224 left in the third. I don't mind. I don't mind mixing it up a little bit with a pass, but I tell you, until they show me they could stop the run, I think I'm just going to keep handing the ball off. You you want to keep the the defense honest, and you know even a play just like that will will perhaps create a favorable situation. And here we go we again. Martin it's a again. big play here. Yeah, Martin's works. in the backfield again. Back. Oler in Hopefully motion another timeout. and a timeout. I think. Coach Gerard really understands the importance, obviously, of this possession here and getting out of here with some points. That's, That's his for sure. yep, second agreed. timeout that he's used on this drive. I don't, I don't know if Brockton is throwing up different looks. I, again, it's hard to, hard to really tell here. They've been running pretty much a four-man front, um, but obviously Gerard is seeing something that he didn't like there. But we got 2:24 to go. Again, it's 14 to six, third and six, third and goal from the six. If you look. Great to poke this in right here. You it's want you want to come away with points, certainly. Uh, in this situation, a touchdown would be huge, no doubt. Given given that Brockton has not moved the ball terribly effectively in this game, uh, suddenly to be in a situation where it's 21-6, you're really in the driver's seat. Right, you're you're in a, you're in a good place if you can put it in here. Let's see what Gerard works up. I, again, I love that little toss sweep. We're going to see the, the, the same right backfield yeah. here with Martin and Oler uh, looking for the tough yards, it looks like. Uh, so we're at about at about the six. Oler in motion, looks pass. pass. Oh, he's going back the other way. Going he's a wide, wide open. open receiver. 
And there it is. And that is number two, Pete Abair. Oh, look at that, huh? He was, he, uh, he could have sat down and written a short story. He was so open on that play. So uh, let's hand it to the coaching staff on that play call. Absolutely. That they, was a they, they saw something. Play. Well, well, look, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll be the voice. I, I won't be modest. I'm going to, Pete, that was a hell of a play there by your son. <laughs> um, but again, if he drops that ball, <laughs> sometimes it's harder to catch those balls. Oh, he just sneaked that he in. got that throw. I tell you, sometimes those balls are the hardest ones to catch because I tell you, Pete, there wasn't anybody within about 10 yards of him. And, um, That's for sure. Here is the see replay. That here. Oh, what a great, great play. And, and you know what? That's a terrific pass by Cooper, as wide open as, uh, as Pete Abair was on that one. You know, you're throwing against the grain. You're rolling right. You're selling it to the right. But then you got to throw it. Uh, All the way back across, back I mean, that across was a, the field, and he did a nice job. That's going to go in the book as a six-yard touchdown pass, but that ball, that was probably about a 30-yard pass there. Yep. Um, and like you said, it's, sometimes when they're that wide open, it's it's hard to throw that and it's hard to catch that, but <laughs> they executed that. It's 21-6. to six. We, we held that ball for just about 10 minutes in that mm -hmm. third period. So it's 21-6 to six with 2.16 to go. So Marcus will kick off here. And I, I'm, I'm not going to say it until after this play is over because I don't want to curse them. There's the kick. Shorter kickoff than the first couple. Um, a little lane. I was going to say, we've been snake bit in the last couple years with a big return in a situation like this. And you remember that Bethuen game, we were up 17-7. And it seemed like we had all the momentum, and they had about an 80-yard return down to the five-yard yep. line. And well, that's it, it, it's happened a lot the last couple years. So that was that's great that's, to see that. That's for sure. So 2-10 here in the third. The defense for LS gets set out there. We've had uh, the defense has done a good job in this game. Henry Lowry on the right side of the line. Jake Leveron up the middle. Pete Aber on the left side. Actually, we have uh, Abdul Kareem in there, number 51 Friendly uh, gas. in the middle. Blake Whistle. They've been doing a nice job. Number one, the star player is in the backfield again. He hands the ball off. Um, That's a hard fought about a, what, yep. a five yard gain there, it looks like. Look to be five yards. Uh, they, the sticks move three. We'll believe the sticks on that one. <laughs> Who's number 51? 51 Rich? is uh, uh, Abdul Kareem. Why do I, why, I, again, I have him down to 65 on my sheet, so that's why I keep making that mistake. Well, let's check, <laughs> let's check it all here. Let's see. Uh, Another play, exact same play, handoff right up the middle. He kicks to the outside. May have picked up a couple yards out to the right. Do we, do we even yep. have a 65 on yours? I have a 65. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Ab it's it's Abdul. Okay. So Abdul had you know has that that is his uh, that has been his uh, position uh, here these past uh, past couple and years. Number seven just but came he is in. Rotating. Is number seven just came in. Is that Louis Stefan? That's Louis Stefan. Just uh, came in to get some action at linebacker. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we have third and six. Big stop here again. The big number one, Montero, is back. He just took the snap. High snap. He's looking for a receiver. A man. Oh! And he snap. couldn't pull it down. It was a little behind him, a little high. With the ball was tipped up, and it looked like for a second there that Blake Wessel had a chance to maybe intercept that, but it bounced out of his way. So it's we got fourth and five. Yeah, and you Brockton is lining enough for a, to punt the ball, but I got to tell you, with that big number one back there, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily sell out just for the punt return. I'd keep an eye on him, maybe. I think it would be a very risky play to run the it ball. It would be risky at this place in the field. But get some, 15 it, yards, maybe. I would not put it past Coach Wiggins, but uh, I think you got to, I think you yeah, got to well, beat I, this well, one. I would definitely punt it, but I'm just. Oh nope. no! There we uh, go. It's a keeper, and there's room. And he might pick up the first down. He, he's yep. got it. Called it, Coach. Well, Fletch, you called it all right. I, you know, the, you just look at that. The Warrior, the warrior offense just ran that you, 10 you minutes off it. the clock and drove that down. If they punted the ball there, the Warrior put together another drive like that. This game's over. That, I felt like as risky as that was, that was not a surprise to me. I well, well, well called by Coach Wiggins and, and 
uh, John Fletcher here in the broadcast yeah. stand. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when it, you, you have a D1 prospect back there, and it's, like I said, we're down. This quarter's over. They're going to run the last 20 seconds down. We're going to be going into the fourth quarter. I, you know, they, the only thing they did by lining up the punt there was just to spread out the defense and really open up the field for him. And that's that's what happened, and you really saw that the speed of Montero yeah. on that one. He, yeah. he, he, he sold the kick momentarily, and then he was gone, and, and it was... Uh, it was uh, it was going to be a first down almost when he pulled pulled that in and started and it, running. And if, and if you look at him, he uh, he's still limping. Remember, he went off the field there. That's right. Um, a few minutes ago, they he had to be helped off the field. Um, he did come back, so he's limping. Maybe maybe that limp is the only thing that saves him from fully getting that corner and really being gone. Well, that will be a clip to send to the coaches <laughs> at, at Pitt. Yeah. Uh, no doubt, Fletch. That uh, was a nice play by Montero and a good play call by by the Brockton sideline. And again, I, and I'll go ahead and pump my own tires here. I would have I would have kept somebody home on that corner. I I think that I, again I didn't see an, any other option there than than, than to go for it. The, the, the way our the way our offense has been moving. I just, I just, I don't see Brockton's ability to stop our offense at this point. The only thing that has stopped our offense tonight is that turnover. Other, other than that, we get the ball, we possess the ball, we've been driving the ball. And even though we've only put up 21 points, it's been the, the length of these drives has been really impressive. Yep. So now the Brockton is back. They have the quarterback under center. That's back to Campbell's back under center for Brockton. And it's a handoff up the middle to number 21, I believe, is back in action. That's Turco. Turco, he was the one who had their long, their only score, that long touchdown back in the first quarter. Number one's really in a lot of pain here, Coach. He's coming off the field again, limping. Yeah. You don't want to see that, right? You want to play play and play against the best no, you opponents. Don't. Yeah, it definitely has a limp. Looks like the right uh, the right foot. He's uh, he's still on it. So dragging it out a little bit on the sideline. So number eight, Campbell's back under center for the Brockton Warriors. They put a big fullback in there to be a lead blocker, it looks like, for Turco. My guess is they're going to run this ball right up the middle, try to give the Warriors a taste of their own medicine. With that lead blocker trying to get some momentum, that's exactly what they do. And, and a it, big hold oof, there. It worked for about a seven or eight yard gain there. It's getting that extra blocker in the backfield. That number yep. 22 is a big boy for Brockton. Christian Flaherty. Yep. That's a new look for the Brockton. That's an indeed. So and it looks like maybe they're gonna they're gonna third and three here. This is definitely four down territory. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see the same play, Peter. They they got that lead blocker in there. They're trying to get the Warriors to jump. And it, oh, he bobbled the ball a little bit. Yep. Oof. Slowly developing, and uh, LS gets in the backfield there. Yeah, so they're, nice, they're running that big nice number tackle. 22 as a fullback as their lead blocker there. 21 bobbled the ball just a bit, just enough to slow him down and allow our defenders to get in there. So we have Montero He's trying to, get, to go in, and, he, and in he, he goes. It looks like the coaches weren't sold on it, but he worked his way onto the field. It's it's fourth and f about six, He's fourth and five for the 44. With 10 minutes to go, this is a big play right here for both sides. Big play, Montero going into the slot on the right. We got Hardy. Hardy's playing tight. I'd bump him off the line, throw him off his, throw him off his rhythm, and let our defensive line get in there. And he did. He bumped him. Indeed. He's looking that, for him. He's going for him, and he, oh, pushes he just off. pushed off. That's a push off. That's a push off. That is a push off. Wow. Wow. That is. That is a missed that, call. That's a horrible call. They, they missed that. that. Hardy had him. He was covering him. He was tight against him. And right when the ball was released, Montero pushed Hardy almost to the turf and made the separation. Well, now, tight end Jermaine Wiggins would say that's a perfectly good uh, that good was, move by a receiver. But that, that I'd love was, to see uh, the replay on that one. That was like a that, it, pretty blatant push off there. It, the, we had a uh, corner on him at that point. Uh, it was going his way all the way. Yeah, the quarterback. There was no there was no trickery there. He was uh, Campbell was looking his way the whole time. And like I said, as soon as that ball was released, he pushed off, knocked Hardy off. 
Well, that's, uh, that makes it a 21-12 game here, and so we'll see a two-point well, conversion attempt. To I mean, that's, you know, again, when you have a D1 player on your team, you always have to be careful of that explosive big play capability there. Yeah, hard, hardy step for step with him, slowing him down, but once he, once he, once he was pushed off. past there, the quarterback had enough time to get off that play, and we'll have a timeout. Uh, LS another timeout here. Interesting. Oh, no, Brockton, Brockton, Brockton on that one. Yeah. So, so Brockton calls a timeout knowing the importance of this play. Makes it a two-point conversion, makes it a 21-14 yeah, game. If they miss this, it's a two-possession game. Right now it's nine Indeed. points. Yep, so it's um, a big play. They, they miss this, it's a two-possession game with nine minutes to go on the way the Warriors have been moving. Um, that, may, that may have sparked them a little bit. Um, again, number one does have a very noticeable limp out there. Although you didn't really see it once he pushed Hardy out of the way, yeah. and <laughs> well, he seemed to be okay for that split second there. I, I'm not sure there's a faster player on the LS team. I mean, Jake certainly would be in the top two or three at, at, at worst. Uh, but you know, that was that's a play uh, as as you described it, Jake. Right on him on the line. That's his job to slow he, him down. He, well, he bumped he bumped him off the line just like he's told to do. Throw him off it. And, I, I believe it was uh, I, I, without the, without the replay. I didn't see who picked up coverage uh, downfield, but again, that's where we saw the push off, and that's that's one vantage point from where we were. We saw that very clearly. Yeah. And that, and that's not being. A, and we have now a we got flag. a penalty. Hopefully, it's against Brockton. That'll it back. It must them. be movement on Brockton. I that's against think. us. So but we do have a runner running off the field for LS. So <laughs> let's hope there's not too many men on the field. That might well, have been the case. Well, that's going to make it. It's a half the distance now, so they're only going to have to go a yard. Yep, and there we go. That's that the call. That's and they, unfortunate. And that was, so at one point, we had 13 players on because they sent one off, and another one came off. So after that timeout, Coach Gerard cannot be happy to spin. Uh, it was Brockton's timeout, but coming out of a timeout yeah. to have 13 men on the field is unacceptable. They're going to have to regroup now and... Make a play. This is a bit. This is yeah. this is important. Let's see what happens. And so we have. My guess is going to be a sneak right up the middle with Campbell, right behind that big center. And there it is. And no signal yet. No signal yet. It's in. There, there's a signal. This well, is 21-14. Yep. Well, it's a new ball game. Yep. And you hate you hate to see that happen though on a play like that. I mean, I. Again, I don't want to sound like a hobo, but that seemed like a pretty obvious push off there. But yeah. it is what it is. We got to put that behind us and move on now. We got to get the ball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, agreed, Frost. We we both saw that one up here um, pretty clearly. Uh, but so for LS, you buckle down now, and you have moved the ball effectively all game uh, on the ground and when needed in the air so let's see how they respond yeah that like was that was a big big time drive by brockton two big plays uh, well really to that's keep that, that moving well that's what we're looking at here right we it, there's well, ls i don't know there's that that uh second and 24 pass play really stands out but other than that it's been just steady doses of handoffs up the middle where brockton you can look at three big plays that uh long run by turco the fourth down play, and then that big pass on the push off by Montero. Here's the kickoff. And oh, we got whistles going. Berenger After a pretty clean first it. half. So that must be yep, offside. Well, that's offside on Brockton, yep. so that's going to move them back. That, that can't make Wiggy happy. That, those are mental mistakes that just aren't unacceptable to be offside on the kickoff. But we'll take it. We'll take it. So we have uh, Behringer and uh, Ryan Nasseritel back deep for LS. So and done. we'll walk it back uh, to the 35. A little we kick it. And hopefully we'll get a nice return here. 9.43 to go. Again, it's 21-14. We can't let off here. We got we to gotta, we gotta keep, keep our head in this game, make sure we protect the ball. Lining up the band, the band is getting in, getting into it a little bit more here. 
Yep. There's the kickoff. It's a line drive. Tough oh, to handle. No! And the Cerdal has it now. Hold on to that ball. Oh, and it's oh a we nice got run back. It. Oh, right. one guy to yeah. beat. That's a terrific <laughs> run back. He had one more he, man to beat before it really opened up. But you know that sometimes a broken play like that throws off the coverage, and he almost outran the coverage there. He had one man to beat. That As it is, a nice return to the 34-yard line. So we're first and ten. Let's see what LS does here. Hopefully they'll. So I the hope backfield. they keep it conservative and keep doing what they've been doing. But again, Brockton is really stock, really st stack in the middle there. So, and it's a quick pass. Oh, in and out of the nicely defended by number well 49. Defended. 49 for. I don't know if I, uh, you know, I don't know, Coach. You start passing the ball, you get incompletions. That stops the clock. That's almost a pass that could have, you know, is like a run, a quick little slant like that. Um, but yeah, a night well defended, well yeah. defended play. Second and ten now. Uh, we have. I, I we, you know, number one, uh, Montero is out of the game. So maybe we're trying to exploit the downfield a little bit. Hand but here's a handoff to Oler. And he got Three stopped. Or four yards there. So we're going to be looking at about a third and six. Third and six. It's a big game. Good, big play here. Third and six with about. It'll be a little under about 8:50 to go once they snap the ball. So it's third and ten, or, uh, I mean third and about six from the 37. Montero's coming back in. Brockton understands the importance of this play. Like I said, we should be right around 850, 850 with this ball Hardy snap. Hardy out on the left-hand side. Looks like Berenger and Siegel are the right-hand side. Cooper back. Oh! Well defended by number, what is that? Number 23, Number 23 for Brockton. For Brockton Siegel, the intended receiver. I, I don't know, Coach. I he had he had some separation deep on that on the uh, crossing pattern. Again, I, I don't I don't really want to question Gerard here too much. He's been a very successful coach, but I do question the play calling there when we've been running the ball at will the entire game, and when we need to take some time and possess the ball, we've passed the ball twice. That stops the clock. We only took about a minute off the clock, and now Brockton's going to get the ball right back. Yeah, I think it's, though, as, as you have said, Fletch, Ooh, not that a, is a sidewinder but takes a favorable kick for favorable LS roll. going down to about the 30-yard 30 30 line. All right. So but, as I mean, as you pointed out, Fletch, um, they have been keen more on the run, no, no yeah, doubt about definitely it. So they, so they, have, they have made some adjustments. Those are tougher yards now. Um, so right now it's it's the defense's turn, and let's let's see how how they respond. Always keep your eyes on Montero. Right now he's right in front of us on the sideline. Yep. Uh, so it's uh, we, the, in defense the LS defense's hands now. The, uh, Yep, it is in their hands, and they need to come up with a big stop here. So the quarterback's on their center. Looks like we have an extra linebacker in there. Number 21. And they, there's oh, nothing and there they stuffed the him at the line. Side. Again, uh, a lot of, not a lot of imagination in this Brockton offense. They're, they've done a couple of little things, but it seems like their big play is throw it up, let number one push off, and catch the ball for the touchdown. Yeah. I, I, I got to let that go, I know. That, but, uh, was, uh, that was Turco, I believe, on the carry. Yeah, Turco and seems Lowry, to be. Uh, getting them in the in behind the scrimmage. So that's a one-yard loss. 8.03 left, clock ticking down. Two let back sets. Long count here. Again, they're, they're leading with that full. Oh! Whoa! whoa. Wow, they're leading with that fullback, and Turco just had a nice, what, about an eight-yard gain, and he was about yep. one tackle away from breaking that for a 65-yard 60, touchdown. Their most effective run up the middle in this game. So. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Brockton's going to be content with trying to move this ball down the field. They're going to play warrior football here and try to drive it down, yep. take some time off, and try to tie this up. Quarterback to under center again, same play. Lead fullback lead. Gets out. Oh, nice! Oh, oh, 
All right. He ended up, somehow he got about a two yard gain out of that. It looked like he was going to be <laughs> dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, a bear on the tackle, A bear and Behringer. I think that, uh, well, I think uh, Umbach was uh, involved oh. in that one too. 12. Yep. They're a little, a little join with the, uh, some coaches on the on the Brockton yeah. sideline, but uh, two second and eight S yards on the 44 with 6:50 to go. Again, they keep the same formation. They're in tight. They're going to challenge us right up the middle. Lead fullback Turco. Yeah, yeah that's uh, this time on the left. They're, on they're the left doing side. Look, a great sportsmanship here. I, I I'm impressed with the sportsmanship both teams here. There. Uh, that Brockton defense just helped number 51 up off the turf. That was cool. Like you like to see that at the high school level. We didn't get a lot of that in that Methuen game. Well, we're <laughs> we're yeah we're starting to see the size. Yeah, it's starting to wear down. Right? Brock offensive line coming to play here late in the game. They get nothing nothing too fancy. They're, yeah, okay, okay. they're. I tell you what, they made that adjustment in the second half, and they 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 put that lead blocker in there, and that's really made a difference. That's essentially another offensive lineman to help open up the holes. We got about six minutes to go. The ball's at the 46 yard line on the bad side. We have Jensen Martin out and we have Louis Stefan in. Warriors really need to, again, they're not changing anything up here. They got number 22. Laverone back in the middle for LS. So uh, some defensive changes there. But again, Brockton's found something here with that Lee blocker. And yeah, he's getting. And at number 22, number 21, Turco, it's, he's making me nervous here, Pete. He's, uh, looks like he's about one step away from breaking it on 531. You're right, you're right. So LS is 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 playing more up on the line. They, they, they know what, what Brockton is feeding them right now. And uh, so they are, they are trying to attack this run, but uh, Brockton is getting a great, yeah, you uh, want a great, def uh, great offensive line effort here. You want to keep an eye on bodies. You want to keep an eye on number twelve here. They've been running this uh, pretty much exact same play about six plays in a row. I could see them trying to snap something off here with a little pass to number twelve, Indeed. and that's exactly what go. they're it's doing. Behringer and coverage, he's got a step and great coverage. He Did caught he that, that ball. Are you kidding me? That Coach, again, I called that. They ran the exact same play. That was an underthrown pass. Eight eight plays in a row, they ran that ball right up the middle. The LS I, players, I think, seem to think that he may have been out of bounds on that. It's, still, again, difficult to see from this vantage point, but that's a big play. Big play. Fetch. That was a bad pass, and I, I saw it coming all the Behringer, way. Behringer, great coverage on that. And he, and he turned and went low to make the grab. It looked like you said the size and strength of Brockton looks like it's just starting to kind of wear down. They want a nice hit it's there. A big hit. But there, he still but gets flying through. Yeah. Yeah. They stop him just short. Yeah, I gotta say, I gotta give tip my hat to the Brockton offense there. They ran that exact same play at least six times in a row. That lead fullback, that lead block, and it softened it up to number 12 on the outside. So we got second and goal from the four with about four. 420 to go. Yep. Uh, Ethan Gordon it, uh, I, out there at linebacker. So they're. It's going to be the same thing here. That lead block, number 22, fullback right up the middle. There it is. And they stopped and they him stopped again. Him there. So it is a Woo. third. And this would be big. At the two yard line. We got, looks like we got a player. We have a player LS down. Player down. Trainer out attending. Who is that? Can so you see who's down? I could not see that. And again, I got to tell you, I'm really impressed with this Brock, the, the sportsmanship on both sides. Brockton instantly jumped up and started waving for the, um, the LS sideline to get somebody over. Yeah, agreed. It's agreed. hard to see who's down. So uh, LS is, is trying to plug that middle. I mean, they do have a, they have their, they have their bigger set of, of linebackers out there right now. The coach, I, or Pete, I've called, I've called two big plays here. I'm going to call this one. They're going to okay. hand that ball off to 22 right up the middle. He, they've been using him as the lead blocker. It's time to, fe it's time to feed the man. Uh, my guess is they're going to hand the ball off to him right up the middle here. It's a big play, third and three. 
that, you got to figure well, it's definitely so. it's definitely two down territory. I mean, there, there's no need to kick a field goal if they don't score. Oh, that's uh, Oler. Number six, Oler oh, is yeah, down. That's uh, that's a big loss for us. If he's is. so, we have uh, he definitely has to come off. So we have yeah limp, limping so off. So now we're down Brathwaite, and well, he is getting he's going off under his own. Uh, uh, yep, that's good to see. That's good to see. So we have. Uh, Say, I would plug the middle. I can see them handing this ball to 22. We have uh, Kevin Aber out there at linebacker, the sophomore. We have uh, the same defensive front. I want to say that's oh, Ethan they, Gordon out there as well. So again, we're trying to get heavy in oh, the they middle. They got number one. Yep, Montero. You can go he, anywhere and beat any. Yep. And it's just nothing fancy here, right up the middle. They didn't give, they didn't signal yet. Nope. They still haven't signaled. He's not in. He he, we not stopped in. him. Yep, we stopped him. It's an interesting call. Wow. When Turco is doing so well. Whew. With, That's with, unbelievable. With Turco doing so well. Um, yeah. To, but I expected him to go wide there, Fletch. Yeah. As I, opposed to right in the line. So he he comes off now. And so I think the, you got to look for. It's going to be Turco either again, 22, really. 22 to lead block. Who's number one? Either 22 is going to get the ball right up the middle, that flattery, or he's, or he's going to be the lead blocker Turco for Turco. Uh, That's going to be my guess. Yep. Well, a lot of big bodies out there. This is Let's <laughs> see who, who wins on this uh, time, on this play. Three minutes time left. Time to get paid right here. This could just be a quarterback Turco sneak. in the back. I don't know if he got they still no signal. There's no signal. Brockton he, thinks I they got think it. He's in. Brockton thinks he got it. LS does not. There's still no signal. No call. No call. That's usually a good. Oh, they oh, just. Oh boy. Wow. Well, so a side judge eventually makes the call. So now, now if you're Brockton, do you go for the tie or do you go for the two? Go for the lead. This two forty-seven. What did we just talk about at the beginning of the game? You go for the tie at home, go for the win I, on the I, road, but yeah, looks well, like they're going to line up for the point, though. Number so it's 21-20 so with 240 big, to go. Uh, big extra point. Uh, number 45, Jordan Gapina looks like Okay, this is a big, 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 big PAT here. Wow, they almost got in there, yep. but that's good. We wow. got a tie game. Well, Fletch, what? it's LS football. Yeah, it's got to be close, right? It's always an exciting game, and we have one here. Yeah, it's 2.47 to go. It's 21 all. Uh, yeah, like I said, Brockton made some really good adjustments there. And I don't, let's see what Coach Gerard and the, and the guys can draw up to counter this there. You know, Brockton started to really stuff that middle and shut down that run. And I, I think things change when they put big number 22 there as the lead, the lead blocker for Turco. It yep. seemed to really change things for Brockton's offense. Well, we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew Brockton with a very proud football tradition and two tough games to start the season against tough opponents. They were primed for another tough game here today, and they battled back uh, on these last uh, last two drives. So. 21-21 is your score. 247 left in the game. We and need a uh, kickoff to Ellis. We need a we need a we need a little um, again, possess the ball, take care of the ball, get the, this down. We got a we got a big kicker, kicker with a big leg. Maserico almost broke one last time. Let's see what happens here. He's back with Berenger. And it looks like it's two Behringer. Behringer with the football. Wants to hold on to the ball. 20, 25. Cuts it up the middle. Oh, Take he's down, down at the 30. At the 30. <laughs> All right. Here we go, coach. Here we go, indeed. So 241 on the game clock. And 70 yards to go for a touchdown. You and know, let's think about field goal range here. We saw a 45 yarder from Marcus Casal earlier in the first game of the year. Let's see. He's got to be at least a 25 yard line, I think. Let me get to the 25. Here we go. Well, let's, let's just get the, fir the first first down and go from there. 
And that Brockton defense is really stepping it up now. They're, so that we was just a gift got, to Nacerdo. Nacerdo was just dropped for probably a yard loss or at least no gain. You know, you, you want to protect the ball here. You want to be aggressive. You want to try to get down, get in field goal range, read score, but at the same time, you don't want to get Brockton the ball back. Uh, yeah, one thing I, I you, you've seen so far this season when you see Jake Hardy in single coverage, that usually is look for look for Jake. So you got a corner on him, you got a safety on his side. We'll go up for the pass. Oh, he, oh he had a step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overthrown. It, Looking for a flag there. None. And the only problem with that is that stops the clock stops with a minute 56 to go. I tell you, after that 10 minute third quarter drive that put us up 21 to six, I thought this game was just about over. But again, yeah. We're, Bro Brockton, yep. they're, they're, you know, they're the city of champions, the boxers. They're, they're not going to go away easily. So we got third and 11. What's your third and 11 play here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we will find out. So we have uh, Jake Hardy on the right-hand side. We have Logan Umbach, Berenger, Siegel to the right, I believe. You're just going to protect the ball. No, you don't, you don't want... Oh, Tarantino breaks loose! Tarantino! Yeah! Great, Woo! Sorry, I great didn't mean to play. I, hey, Pete, you forget your own I was TV. Watching, I you. I was watching and listening to you. Perfect call, by the way. The yeah <laughs> ja definitely I, resonates, but that's a great play by Cooper Tarantino. Okay, yeah, again, you, I forget, he looked forget almost your own like team. a gunner in the backfield. He, he just made one great counter step. We're going to see it here. Uh, it looks looking like downfield. The Brockton boxers were excited. They thought he so somehow we got he the sack. And play continues. And again, I apologize for that outburst. It's still <laughs> my first game, so I got a little excited. So there's a nice Another. run, first down run for Ryan Nacerdo, number 10. Uh, so that, when now with a minute 12 to go, minute 10, you might want to start thinking about trying to get this ball down into field goal range, and right? And Fletch, do we have one timeout? I, I we, lost. We have definitely used two in the so you're you're a little pressed in that category. We may have one timeout. You know, you don't, again the big thing is you want to Nacerdo protect. on the backfield. You want to protect the ball here, right? That's the Cooper was another keeper. Yeah, He's nothing there that time. For, so you want to stop the clock here somehow. I think they might just be content to run, let this clock run out and play for overtime. They might try to get one more big pass in, set up for a long field goal attempt. They were with the hurry up. Receiver's open. He yeah, catches. That's a he, nice play by Logan He did Logan not get Umbach. out of bounds, though. He did not get out of bounds. got to get up there. Get up and clock it. Well, uh, I do not see the clock moving. Well, they got it. They stop. They have slow. The clock is stopped. So okay. we we had that. So that I believe. You remember is how the back on that timeout. that that first drive of the half? Now again, it was a 10-minute drive that put us up 21-6. But remember, LSU used two timeouts during that drive. Um, I hope yep. that doesn't come back to haunt us. But yep. I'd say we probably need at least another 15 yards to have a realistic chance here at a field goal. I would say that's right. That was a nice throw and catch there. That was one that uh, uh, we didn't see anything downfield. And Logan Umbach makes a very nice sliding catch uh, near the Brockton sideline. So first down and 10 on the 39. And I like your distance 15 yards may put us in Marcus's well, range. Well I, I think earlier in the game you were kind of recap last year's game for us and it seems like it's been a complete reversal and I believe yeah. that, did you say that went I, into overtime right? You're, you're quite right the only dif dis difference is it's not 38 and raining <laughs> so we're, we're happy about that uh, better better uh, weather here Although the temperature, September 22nd. The temperature has come down some but it's not 38 for sure. So, all right. 24 seconds left. First down. Uh, did, uh, did does the offense come back with a couple plays ready to go here, one after the I, other? I, I would think so. I think they see what happens on this first play. We have three Run trips up, right. Kill here. the clock. You don't have a lot of time. Nacerdo Again, you want to keep your composure. A lot of room there to run. He does keep it. 
Go to, and he goes down at we have about a, the If we have a timeout, they're going to run it. No timeout. They got to line up. They got to line, line up and spike. spike it. Spike it. Spike it. Nine, eight, seven, seven. six. You got to get no offsides. Go, go, gonna go. Oh, they're going to kick it. They're kicking a field goal. Let's go. No ah. shot. That was, that was a hurry up field goal. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Co Pete. I think we had time to run up and spike that, kill that ball one time. I would have thought. I think. I think they thought. Uh, I think they had enough. I think they thought they had enough time to get that set. Yeah. They. I, I think the general rule of thumb is you want you need about I think 13, 14 seconds to get your kicking team out there to have a little legitimate chance. I, so it was a rushed. A, a rush play. Um, Difficult handling the snap on that, yeah, I, and again, just I, really no shot. It was it was uh, it, you know the dif difficult to get the hold right, and uh, so Marcus just didn't really have a a game shot at that one. So yeah, again, here we I, go. I, I wonder again. I, I I'm going to question if we had enough time to get up there and clock that ball. Maybe we have two seconds left. That gives you a chance to get your kicking team out there. It would it would have still been a you know. A long field goal, but a makeable field goal. Yep. I, I, you know, I'd have to watch that again on replay. I feel like they had enough time to clock that ball. But as it so is, we're going let's to talk overtime. overtime. All right. So, oh, here's how <laughs> overtime works. Uh, Did you brush up on this? Because I, <laughs> I, I have not. So, so my my only question is, Fletch, where the ball starts from, uh, whether it's the the 25 or, or the 20 or the the the, the 30, but basically, fo folks, uh, each team will have a shot at scoring. Uh, it's not all uh, together different from you see at the uh, at the college ranks. Uh, each team will have a shot at scoring, and uh, so the you know the first team Ooh. out there getting a, a touchdown will have a decided advantage. So, I, so ideally, you want to you know do you, I always like to defer if I can. That way you get the other team the ball first and then you know what you have to do. Some people like to have the ball first and put the pressure on the opponent. You know, it's different different schools of thought, so it'll be interesting to see who wins the flip here. And we have Coach Gerard, Coach Wiggy out at the, mid, at the uh, center field, center field, the 50-yard line. So we have the, uh, the, flip. The, the pit commit and the northeastern <laughs> commit out there. Cooper committing to northeastern for baseball. And they are conferring along with the coaches, Coach sure Gerard, Coach reviewing Williams. Reviewing the rules, make sure everybody understands what we're doing. So walking through the process here. If, if I'm recalling correctly from the September 23rd, 2022 game last year at Brockton, that LS got the ball first and did not uh, uh, score and Brockton was so able to score, but it, it that it, it's that's a year in the rearview mirror. Um, I do know go. that that brought uh, uh, Ellis could not uh, hold back Brockton on that uh, last play. Looks like we're going to be going our left to right. So for those of you watching at home, we'll be going towards the high school uh, end of the field. Yeah, this is a real, uh, you know, again, I hate to go back to that. We were up 21 to 6. It seemed like we had everything. Brockton definitely has the momentum now. Um, love to put in, love to put one in here. Oh, wait a minute. So Brockton does have the ball first, right? Oh. All right so there we go. So, all right, here we go. 10, the 10 the yard line. So, so we get it at the 10, and then Brockton will get it at the 10. And no, you can drop the, drop the first down six. There's no opportunity for a first down you're nope. in or you can kick a field goal and we'll touch touchdown we'll field happens. goal you're over on downs or turnovers but again both teams will get a chance at the ball here we love to get the touchdown that puts all the pressure on Brockton but the the red zone offense for LS has been very good scoring on every every time in the red zone today well, keeper Cooper for Cooper in the middle. and he's in almost untouched almost untouched here so now the pressure's on. Now the pressure's on Brockton. That that is right. And so well, we again, for the folks at home, this could go on to infinity because <laughs> if uh, Brockton comes down and, and scores again, then uh, are uh, they going to kick the? 
Uh, it, it looks like they're going for, going for the, the two. Do you, do you have and to there's go the for run, two. Uh, fake to Lacerdo and, and Cooper. And I got to tell you, I do, I do have to brush up on my overtime, high school overtime rules. I know they've changed it in college. Um, but I'm surprised here we're going for two. Maybe that is the rule. I don't want to misspeak here. Oh, we got a birthday party going on here in the, in the band somewhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. We go. We're lining up. We have Nacerto on the backfield. Cooper Tarantino in the shotgun. We have uh, Umbach in motion. Oh, it's a pass this is a pass. Wide Umbach's open wide is Umbach. Open. And he's in. And in. All right. Terrific. Well, you can't do better than that. That's two perfect. plays two and eight plays points. And eight points, right. So now we're up 29 21. So now Brockton. We'll do the same thing here. Brockton gets the ball at the 10-yard line with a chance to score. Well, I have to say, Fletch, uh, the play calling there, superb. <laughs> superb. Those, those two play calls uh, from the LS sideline came off perfectly. Right. I just hope that Coach Gerard doesn't listen to this broadcast on replay and my critiquing of his coaching. Uh, Lord knows he probably knows more football than I'll ever. <laughs> He's forgotten Fletch has more been football. great working with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might be silenced after uh, this. I, but I, I, I doubt it. I mean, listen, this, this, is, uh, this, is this has been football. a fun this game uh, to be a part of up here. And so here we go, 21 and 22 behind that, that the same quarterback. Setup that That's Flaherty. Flaherty is blocking for, um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Terrico. Turco. It's a handoff right up the middle. That and same. There's play nothing that, there. Again, they got some. They have some tall, lanky receivers with good hands here. And and, and Peter, I got to keep saying, I don't, I, I, I'm really impressed with the sportsmanship here. Both teams high fiving one another, uh, patting each other on the shoulders. It's great to see. It, it, and it may be borne out from from last year's game as well. I mean, that that was a a grinding, close game, and I think the the respect between these two teams is very high. All right, so we got second and nine, second and goal for the nine. Turco 21, Flaherty 22 in the back. see them bouncing this to the outside with a little tall sweep to the left and number 21, Turco. But note, they go to, go the, to right. the right. Not much there. Not much there. Pulled back, that's maybe at the six. I tell you, I can I can see them doing a little little corner, little little flag route out route here to number twelve. They they soften up that middle and they open up that pass, but it's we got third down from the seven. So the the defensive line doing well here for LS. All right, number I mean, one. They almost held them on their last possession to extend this game. And Montero's coming in, and he'll be taking the snap. My guess is so that he'll keep the ball. Yep, I would and get I out could, wide with him. I could see him I could see him splitting out to the left, just getting this ball and rolling out to the left. But he's going to go to the right. He's not a tough kid. Not, not much. I mean, he, he got a, maybe a couple yards there, Fletch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, it looks like they're spotting it just beyond the five. Maybe yep. the five and we're five, five yards and away. Here, here we go. Ball game potentially here. And on this Brockton, play. Brockton used the timeout. I again, but by, by the next broadcast, we'll we'll get up to speed <laughs> on our overtime rules. That I well, I thought they started at the twenty, <laughs> and uh, well, of course they started at the ten. But you know, it, I I like I like this rule i like this yeah. process in an overtime for a high for, school game for either team this is going to be another heartbreak for the loser after both teams losing in the last in the ls in the last 12 seconds brockton in the last minute last week um two com very competitive teams a lot of talent and it comes down to this it's fourth down from the five yard line a stop here by the warriors and we get out of here with a hard-earned victory. Um, yeah, absolutely. We got uh, Laveron out there, Luis Stefan in, uh, in the linebacker position. We got uh, we got some we got some of the big players out there, no doubt. All right, we got uh, the looks like the student uh, section is 50, getting is waking it up over there. 63, Kevin Abear, I think, is in for 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 Oler. Yep, I see I see uh, Kevin out there. And uh, here we go, Abdul Kareem. This hey, again, I, I see a little corner. Here we go. I could see them throwing this up to the corner. They put number He's one in motion. Watch it. Hardy on him. I'd give him help. 
Yeah, Stuck I could not to. I can see them throwing this ball up, a jump ball to him, and that's yep. exactly what they're going to do. No, well, he's sweep. He keeps it. He one sweeps. One guy to beat. There it is. There it is. Three tackle, and that wow, that was number four, Blake Wessel, who holds <laughs> the wow. fort. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great, great game! Holy cow! A great tackle there. It was one on one, coach. It almost, it almost looked like they were running that play, the the A Bear touchdown earlier, where Cooper Tarantino rolled right and threw back across his body. It looked mm -hmm. like the same play. Their quarterback was rolling to the right. Number one rolled out, was ran a corner route to the yep. left, and it looked like he was going to throw against his body, but um, he tucked it and ran, and I believe he was stopped at about the two-yard line. So number four, Blake Wessel, on a, a great stop. Game-saving game stop. A great there. stop by the LS defense on these last four plays, and uh, we have two teams doing the handshakes, and... Folks, here's, here's, let's here's watch play this play. Just as you described it, Fletch, they put here we go. one in motion. He comes across. In slow motion. Oh. <laughs> that, was our, that was our score. Uh, that was our, yeah, that that was our score to yeah, Logan. I, I want to see the defense really, play there. <laughs> well, I mean, that was, again, a beautifully designed play by LS. And in, in the end, uh, yeah, one of the two game winners along with that conversion. Here's the play. So he's rolling. Blake he Wessel one-on-one, -on -one, four versus eight, and, and this time four wins. And uh, a great job. Huge. And what's two. our schedule coming up? We're at, is it New Bedford next week and then I believe at home against Acton Box? But again, it, once we become a veteran crew, we'll know <laughs> to have things like this. New Bedford right. will be a, an away game for sure, and we want to wish the – the, you know, the, we have the JV team heading down to Brockton tomorrow, and, and uh, so that, that will be a, a terrific uh, opportunity for the JV team against uh, uh, Brockton JV.